Pretty remarkable images out of upstate New York and in the city at this hour as wildfire smoke from Canada leaves some areas looking a lot like Mars. Check this out, the smoke particles giving us some skies in that region an orange glow. As you can see, a barely visible Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Live look right now and listen to this. This afternoon, New York is measuring the worst air quality of any city on the planet right now. Let's take a live look at New York City provided by EarthCam. Visibility very low there, as you can see. Broadway has halted a show due to the actors breathing complications amid poor air quality and many schools actually had to be closed today. Let's get another view closer to the ground there. It's a little less obvious closer to the ground. Uh, this is 6th Avenue. Vis visibility much better, uh, but the haze there still very much lingering. More than 55 million people across the Northeast, the Midwest, and Mid-Atlantic are under air quality alerts as wildfire smoke from Canada lingers across the U.S. US. And you may remember seeing the grayish haze over Chicago yesterday as and well. And even when I was driving into the city today, you probably saw it yep. as well. I mean, it was kind of hard to make out the skyline. Of course, nothing this extreme. The FAA has implemented a ground stop for flights bound for New York's LaGuardia and Newark Liberty airports because of that haze. And while the sights may be amazing to the eye, they are unhealthy for the body, as Anthony alluded to earlier. Today, New York City recorded the worst air quality of any city on the planet, including cities in Canada where this smoke is originating. If exposed to the current air quality in New York City for 24 hours, it would be equivalent to smoking about six cigarettes. Madeline Rivera has more on the wildfires in Canada and its U.S. impacts. From New York City to Washington, D.C., much of the East Coast and the Great Lakes are blanketed in smoke from wildfires in Canada, turning the sky a shade of orange and posing health risks for some. I have noticed my asthma hacking up, and um, I just thought it was pretty much a seasonal sinus type thing. The fumes prompting a series of air quality alerts in several states. D.C. public schools canceled all outdoor activities, and the FAA ordered a ground stop at LaGuardia Airport Wednesday because of visibility issues. Local officials and medical experts are advising people to stay inside or mask up. This is not the day to train for a marathon or to do an outside event with your children. Stay inside, close windows and doors, and use air purifiers, purifiers if you have them. Being outside right now is like smoking cigarettes. It's not a joke. Meanwhile, the White House is deploying resources to help Canada fight the fires. We have already deployed over 600 U.S. firefighters and personnel, as well as equipment like water bombers. As some Democrats call for the need to address climate change. These Canadian wildfires are truly unprecedented, and we cannot ignore that climate change continues to make these disasters worse. Meteorologists say weather patterns could keep the smoke around the region for days. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.